One parent claims an early graduation policy kept her daughter out of the running. For class valedictorian, News 4's Caroline Gerhardt spoke to the family and the Ozark City Superintendent and shares both sides of this unique story. Haley Johnson graduated from Carroll High School in May after just three years. I did put a lot of work into it. I took classes that, uh, you know, regular high school students wouldn't take. I did a lot of, you know, summer classes working over the summer. Haley's love for animals sparked an aspiration to become a veterinarian. She says the dual enrollment counselor offered early graduation to pursue that dream sooner. Her mom, Katrina Johnson, found that prospect intriguing. But she laid it all out and made it sound really nice. Johnson says she asked the counselor several times if early graduation would bar Haley from the running for valedictorian. In fact, they told us the opposite. The early graduation policy includes a line laying this out, but the Johnsons say they were told because Haley had more credits than she needed, she would be in the running. But when the list of top 10 students came out, Haley's name wasn't there. Another concern, Johnson says her daughter kept up to date on her status change from a junior to senior. After months with no change, she and her daughter reached out to the principal. We've you know, asked about this several times with the counselor and everything because she had already missed her senior portraits because she was a junior in the system. So finally in January, they got that taken care of. With a 4.65 GPA, the Johnsons expected scholarships to roll in. But when Haley's acceptance letters came, scholarship offers didn't. So we went to the counselor like, well, we thought she'd get something. And she said, well, because of the status being updated so late that it probably sent all her stuff off late and she wasn't considered a senior, so it didn't look good. I brought these concerns to Ozark City Schools Superintendent Revis Gertman for answers and for clarification on the early graduation policy. Early on, students are given the opportunity. They sit down with the counselor. They talk specifically about Val and Sal. Uh, and students who graduate out of cohort are not able to uh, compete with kids in a four-year cohort for Val and Sal. Uh, that policy is, is very traditional, and it is complementary of policies that are all across this Wiregrass area and other places. Regarding the status change from junior to senior, Gertman explains once an early graduation application is completed and approved. Once that becomes uh, final, then those students begin to try to seek uh, opportunities for jobs, scholarships upon graduation. And obviously we encourage all of our students to do that. Gertman says he stands by the early graduation policy and grade status process and believes the current policy is fair to all students. Uh, I still love Carol, but w what they did to Haley and how they went about it is, it's heartbreaking. In Ozark, I'm Caroline Gerhardt, your hometown news leader. Haley has decided to attend Mississippi State in the fall. Superintendent Gertman also says that all early graduates were recognized during their Honors Day ceremony.